For all those whose cares have been our concern, the work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, and the dream shall never die. No matter who writes the history books, when people look back on this century, they will say that Edward Kennedy was one of the ablest and most productive, most compassionate and most effective men who served in the United States Senate in the entire history of the country. This is the cause of my life, new hope, that we will break the old gridlock and guarantee that every American, North, South, East, West, young, old, will have decent quality health care as a fundamental right and not a privilege. Today's decision was a victory for people all over this country whose lives will be more secure because of this law and the Supreme Court's decision to uphold it. If Teddy were here, he would tell us now it's time to roll up our sleeves, get to work, fully implement the law, and move on with the business of, of our country. This one was a long time coming, and it's one that I knew um, my husband would have loved to have seen. Everything he did was about the future. It was about going forward. It was about passing the torch to a new generation. But those of us who knew Teddy and worked with him here, people of both parties, know that what drove him was something more. Ted Kennedy's passion was born not of some rigid ideology, but of his own experience. That large-heartedness, that concern and regard for the plight of others is not a partisan feeling. It's not a Republican or a Democratic feeling. It, too, is part of the American character. Well, I've never shied away from being called a, a liberal, but what I have done is stand up for my beliefs. The work begins anew. The hope rises again, and the dream lives on.